Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdul qaraji so da'ifu, miskeen, awzal, and mujahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Before the talk, a reminder for myself that only Allah come into our lives and teach us the secret of living. And our life is to worship Allah and the greatest worshipness is the celebration of Allah thankfulness to Allah dhikrullahi akbar. And they come and reveal to us that the greatest dhikr of Allah the greatest satisfaction of Allah is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad وَرَفَحْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ وَرَفَحْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ Surat Al-Inshira Allah reminding Prophet and all of creation that we have raised your dhikr, we have raised your dhikr <coughs> means everything from the tariqah teachings is the secret of Allah's satisfaction and that secret is the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad to love Prophet more than we love ourselves and Allah grants faith, grants light, grants every blessing and every difficulty to take away every wali, sahabi and ahlul bayt all are at their stations for their love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad And our life is based on that secret and the immensity of its barakah can't be understood. But look at our lives, that that secret that they gave to us is based on the immense ishq and love of Sayyidina Muhammad It is our insurance policy. That in a world of difficulty and calamity, put your life in the way of that ishq, in the way of that mawlud, in the way of that celebration and that's the secret that gives us protection in the last days. That's the key into the heart of the believer that protects them from dajjal is the ishq of Prophet and that's all the dajjal will try to take from the heart that you don't need that, you go directly to Allah. And only Allah coming and teaching, fortify the hearts of people, make sure that their ishq and their love for Prophet is immense. And all these teachings and all these months, all its reality opens up on Rabbil Awwal. That which you love you celebrate its existence. That which you love of Allah and to show the appreciation to Allah is to appreciate the Holy Qur'an, the reality of Islam and the Messenger of Islam. Means if you want to show your appreciation to Allah then you have to love Sayyidina Muhammad the vessel and vehicle of bringing all those realities upon this earth. That light of ishq and love and faith opens on Rabbil Awwal. The 12th of Rabbil Awwal, the birth of Sayyidina Muhammad is beyond this realm of dunya. It's a reality into the birth of light. And Allah is not in need of the celebration, is not in need for you to celebrate but reminding that we are in need of Allah We are in need of that celebration, we are in need of that light to open it and that love to open within the heart. Means when we begin from now the celebration, we begin from now the support of Mawlid and Nabi it's not something small. It's not something that you put off in your life and say, okay when we get closer to the mawlid then I'll be involved. You may be dead by then. Everything, kulu amalun bin niyat, 
that Ya Rabbi I'm asking give me a life for Tashrif al-Nabi to raise the magnificent honour, not raise it because it's so impossible to even approach but my life is to propagate that message of the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad So everything that we do is with an intention, Ya Rabbi I don't know if I'll be there but I want to support it and my whole life is to support that. And I want to celebrate it in a grand way, I want to celebrate it here, there and everywhere. I want to propagate it amongst all the orphans to be guests for us in thousands. And this becomes an insurance policy in our lives. This becomes the secret to the shaykh's success, look to their lives and see how immensely successful they are. They're successful in the way of Allah that many came to bring them down. But when Allah supports, who can come against? The secret of their support is the immense love and ishq of Prophet They were asking to survive till Hajj, we're asking to get through any type of calamity of Muharram and Shawwal or what is the Safar. Asking through all this gate of difficulty that facing us, Ya Rabbi grant us an insurance, grant us a, a, a way through this ocean of difficulty and only Allah came into our lives and inspired, celebrate Milad al-Nabi in a grand way. And that you're asking Allah let me to see that day and safely to arrive with myself, my family and my community to arrive at that day. And our whole lives were the support of that reality, the propagation of that reality and the immensity of the barakah that it opened. These are all the teachings, they're in every nut that we recited. Jani rahma that whatever you're asking for in life of an opening and take away difficulties of whatever you have in life, celebrate Jani rahma Everybody just wants to ask. Give me this, fix me this, fix this, fix this kid, fix that this. Why do they fix anything? First fix yourself. Fix your love for Sayyidina Muhammad and put that as your top priority. And that your life is to seek out these ashiqeen, attend their associations, support their associations, support the milads. That is our ticket to satisfaction. Because you put your money where your faith is, you put your effort where your faith is and as a result every difficulty becomes ease. From every difficulty Allah makes an ease, why? Because Jani Rahma, the Prophet you're under the nazar of Prophet They ought to be asking and feeding in that love, we're asking and doing mawlid in that love, we're asking and trying to do every type of Food, we take food that's being rescued in thousands of pounds now. Why is that opening so fast now? In Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Manchester is opening inshaAllah with Haji Amir, Haji Ali now in Sheffield and all over Pakistan. Why? It's our najat. Allah said, I'm going to make people to do this but I'm granting your people the honour. Your ashiqeen, your love for Prophet I want these ashiqeen to be dressed with these medallions. And we keep making du'a, Ya Rabbi don't give to them but give it to us. Don't give to the hizb of people who are following shaitan and they come against the love of Sayyidina Muhammad empty their pockets and send it all to us Ya Rabbi. Grant that ni'mah to us, grant those food efforts to us. Grant that charity work to us and make your servants to rise and stand up and want to help. A fire, a great fire is coming. Don't say that that fire burned you and took everything away and you did nothing to save yourself and your families. This is the time in which we rise up, get up, go onto the website muslimcharity.com there's a section on volunteers and they made it very easy for you. Click on getting a shirt, buy your shirt, they gave you a letter, 
take that letter and go to the grocery stores in your area and with your shirt and that letter say, can you give me the food you're throwing away? I want to drive right now and give it to homeless people. Thousands of pounds of food is being given to people in need. And this honor that Allah grant to us so that to make us all shining. So that why? To present us to the presence of Prophet Allah doesn't want anything dirty in that presence. It's a gift from Allah So everything in their lives is that secret. So how are we going to protect ourselves from now until that time? Be involved in the mila, the Nabi to see the links and share it, tell people about it, reserve your space to come here and celebrate it, celebrate it in your area, celebrate it in Pakistan, celebrate it wherever you are. It's your ticket to salvation, it's not something small, it's the greatest gift that Allah give to us because that celebration, that event is the opening of ishq and muhabbat into the heart of the believer. That you celebrated the love of whom I love, all our teaching, come back to all the teaching. I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known. All those who claim they love Allah did you find Him? Where were you looking for Him? In the, in the moon? In the skies? Inside the Kaaba? No, you find Him in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is in the heart of Prophet That same Divinely heart that is propagating the light of Qur'an, manzil of Qur'an. And as soon as we come to celebrate that love, do you see the love relationship? You found me, you found me. You came to this love, you understood the reality of my Qur'an is emanating from this beloved heart, you found me. What would you do for that love? What would you give for that love? What did the companions give for that love? They gave their life, they gave their entire existence. The Imam of our way, Imam Ali Salam, we described before is what? I gave my life at 10, 12 years old, 13 years old, I will lie in the bed you sacrifice me, let them kill me and you go with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq and establish the deen of Islam. And the way of Ahlul Bayt then was established and his beloved son took his entire family into the deserts of Karbala. And for that same love, the same upholding of the sunnah, they sacrificed themselves, their flesh and their entire being. So it means this love is our way, this ishq is our way, this is our ticket in Divinely Presence. This ishq and love is our protection from every difficulty that faces us. We pray that Allah grant us that light and that blessing and that to see that holy event, to love it, to celebrate it and to see the celebration all the areas that we touch in a grand way, beautific way and that other people to see it, the nation that has not yet accepted Islam because all this creation is under Sayyidina Muhammad Those whom accepted the da'wah and those whom yet we have not reached, may Allah open their hearts towards that light of Milad al-Nabi Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.